I built the world's largest game of chess and Minecraft Hardcore. You see, chess has been absolutely blowing up in popularity recently, and I suck at it. But you know what I don't suck at? Minecraft. So I came up with a master plan. If I could build the world's largest game of chess and Minecraft, I would finally be able to rightfully claim my spot as the best chess player to ever walk the earth. Okay, so I want to make the actual board out of white and black concrete, but I don't have any. And after doing some quick math, I figured out I would need almost 40,000 pieces of concrete. Yeah, I'm not making all that. Luckily, we can make a concrete duper that will do all the hard work for us. But first, we need some materials. Okay, I got all the materials except honey blocks. So... And done. Now we could start on the concrete duper. First, I gotta clear up some space. That should do. But I can't leave it looking like that, so let's fix that real quick. Okay, that looks a lot better. To anyone thinking I just gathered deep slate from around the stronghold and turned it into bricks? You're absolutely right. Now we gotta remove the portal frame. To do that, we just grow a mushroom and it'll destroy the portal frame. Now we do that three more times. Time to do some simple redstone. Now we make a chunk loader with another portal and minecarts. Finally, the collection system. And I'm done. But I don't have enough shulker box to bring all the concrete with me. So let's go get some real quick. Nice shot. Now that we had all the concrete, it was time to find a place to build it. After a bit of thinking, I decided to make the chessboard right next to the creeper farm. So I stopped wasting time and got to building. Okay, so this is just the outline of one square. I still have to do this 63 more times. Okay, I'm halfway done with the outline. And there's row 5, row 6, row 7, and I'm done. Now I just gotta fill it in. Okay, now that that's taken care of, we can move on to the pieces. After a bit of thinking, I decided to make the ponds out of chiseled deep slates so they'll have some texture. Wait, how do you make the pond again? Anyways, I hopped into a creative world, and after about an hour, I settled with this design. Now I just have to build it. Now that the black ponds were taken care of, it was time to move on to the white ones. For these, I was thinking of using quartz, but mining all the quartz by hand would take way too long. So I AFK'd on my gold farm for about 18 hours, and then made a piglin bartering system so I could trade off all my gold. Wait, did I forget to mention this farm uses 128 piglins and produces over 800,000 drops an hour? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Anyways, back to the video. After using all the gold, I only got about a shulker box full of quartz. Yeah, that's a problem. So I did the only reasonable thing. I gathered tens of thousands of materials, then started making a gold farm that would produce over 10 times the amount of gold my current one produces. Now that the spawning platforms were taken care of, I had to make a huge bubble column. Next up was the killing chamber. 
which was pretty easy besides getting 20 boats lined up with a nether portal. Anyways, about 2 hours later I had finally gotten all the boats in place. All that was left now was the collection system. I also added an automatic shulker box loader. Now that the actual build was taken care of, I needed a few more things, like a thousand shulker boxes and three beacons. I started with the shulker boxes, which I wasn't going to do manually, so I made a farm for it. Now that the shulker box were out of the way, it was time to move on to the beacons. I started off by getting all the wither heads. <laughs> then I thought, what better way to defeat the wither than using a super complicated redstone cannon that I made last video. So I headed to the end, summoned the wither, and fired the cannon. which instantly killed the wither. Now I just had to do that two more times. Now I just gotta build the beacon, choose some power-ups, and now I could AFK the farm without dying. Yay! Now that I had loads of gold, I had to upgrade the storage system since the current one wasn't cutting it. So I cleared up some space, and made an auto sorter. If anyone's wondering how this works, first I come over here and turn on this lever. This lever will turn on the system that pushes all the items, then the run through a collection system where all the useful items get sorted out and all the non-useful items just get thrown into the lava pit. Credits to Wild since I saw him do this first. Now that I didn't have to worry about quartz, it was time to get to building. I quickly built all the white ponds. then moved on to the rooks. These were actually really simple. I just built a base and the castle thingy on top. Next up, I decided to do the bishops. They were a little more difficult, but nothing I didn't think I couldn't handle. If you're wondering why there's a hole at the top, it's because if you look at an actual bishop, that was opening at the top. So I tried to replicate it with stairs and slabs, and I think I did a decent job, but I don't know, so let me know what you think. Okay, so now that I finished the bishops, I realized that the pawns are way too big, and they blocked the other pieces. But I'm not gonna make you watch me do the same thing twice, so I'm gonna do one of those cool transitions in three, two, one. Wow, would you look at that? They're all smaller. Next up are the horses, and I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea how to do these. So I just searched up how to make a horse, took the head off, and plopped it on the podium. That sounds a lot worse when I say it out loud. Anyways, now that the knights are out of the way, it's time to move on to the most useless but most important piece, the king. This one's really simple. It's just a base that gets smaller as it gets taller. But it does have a crown with a cross, and since he is a king, I decided to make the cross out of gold. Yeah, that looks good. Last but definitely not least, the queen. This one's pretty similar to the king, but has a different shaped crown. Which I also pedazzled with some gold. Just like that, I had built the world's largest game of chess. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Did making the largest game of chess improve my chess skills? Wait, I'm down 200 points since I started this project? Why did I think this would work? 